Hello guys! Today we are going to test some more Bloxburg TikTok hacks, but these are all going to be winter and Christmas themed. So before I show you the actual TikTok hacks that we're going to do, I want to show you one that I discovered myself. They were in my last video, so if you do watch my regular commentary videos like, hey, I love you, thanks for watching. So the first one is a Christmas tree and then it's got bows instead of ornaments because we don't have ornaments in Bloxburg. So I went for the small Christmas tree and then I resized it all the way up and then I did take the bows and you put it on a basic shape, a transparent one because you obviously don't want people to see the shape behind the tree because the tree is pretty transparent it's just a bunch of wires and all that going around i align the bows where the lights are on the tree so this way it looks like the bow is illuminated and i finally realized what this reminds me of if you guys grew up watching mickey mouse which that's what i grew up watching from disney channel there used to be this mini advertisement cutscene. well it's not an advertisement but it was called minnie's bow boutique oh my god it gave me such a rush of nostalgia and that's where i realized i got the idea from because a few days ago i came across it on pinterest and tiktok because i was looking at bow stuff like bow Christmas trees and all that stuff and I saw it and I was like oh my god Minnie's bow boutique this is perfect it's a tree with bows and it would work so nice it's a bit tedious to do it takes a while it took me about 10 minutes to do this tree but I was also watching Netflix while doing it so that also could have slowed me down but it's just adjusting it transform tool here's a few things to keep in mind though you can resize the bows and paint the bows but if you move the tree it is not gonna move with the bows the bows don't stay anchored to the tree so just keep that in mind anyway we can go to the TikTok hacks now so first we have how to make your pool look frozen for winter because obviously when it is cold outside you cannot go swimming it looks like all they're doing here is just putting a basic shape with the texture over their pool and it just makes the pool look frozen i actually have a final exam that i'm supposed to be taking right now but blocksburg comes first please don't follow my example i genuinely can't think of a house where i have a pool actually my blush mansion does have a pool it's very small but it will do the job <laughs> This is going to be our pool. What they use is a cube and then we obviously size it down so it's a thin layer. And now I'm just gonna transform it so it's the biggest it could possibly be. And the texture they used was granite. So there we go. And I'm just gonna make it blue so it looks frozen. And now all we do is transform it. So I'm gonna transform it down so it's not overlapping with anything. Oh, that looks sick already. And I'm not even done. So here's what it looks like. Honestly, this is so sick. I love this because it looks like ice. The granite texture is so cool for this. And and it's much cheaper than buying an ice ring. Look at that reflection. Ooh, it, it looks just like ice. Very creative build pack. I like this and I will be using this. Next, we have realistic snow. And this is very similar to what we did with realistic grass a few videos ago. So if you watch that one, this is the snow version of it. As always, it's just a decal and then you resize it and put it along your path to make it look like snow. So let's do that. This build is so old. It's from years ago, but it'll do. All right, so we're gonna take a transparent cube, resize. I don't know how big I should make this. So I'm gonna just do like medium sized and as always if you are planning to do this build hack I will have all the links in the description so you can find the codes and the tiktoks if my instructions aren't clear enough Because sometimes it can get confusing. It's just so cool how it works. It's so crisp The quality of the decal is so nice too. Now. I'm just gonna put it all around here I'm kind of resizing them all differently just so there's variation because obviously snow isn't gonna look the same Just had a flashback to president snow from songbirds and snakes. He's so fine dude so here's what it looks like when you do the entire path and it just looks so cool because it looks much more natural because obviously real snow isn't gonna look perfectly cut unless you're a professional snow plow i love it it adds such a nice detail this is a working advent calendar so we take a cube and resize it and it's basically just a bunch of copying and pasting but while i do that i'm gonna tell you guys a story about what just happened today i just got back from my math exam yikes let's just say let me disclaim first i am not good at math math is not my best subject it's probably my worst subject if you're good at math bless your soul because i just cannot do it i have this problem when, when i take tests specifically math it only happens in math i blank out literally i'll look at the paper i'll study and then i take the test and i just can't remember anything or i do remember but then i remember three different ways to do it and then i'm like wait which one do i do do i do this way this way or this way so last night i was like you know what i'm gonna study i'm gonna be a good student and study i opened my cute little study guide my practice test and i was doing it and then some little roach decides to text me noelle Let's play Fortnite. And guys, if you had to choose between studying for math and Fortnite, which would you choose? Now, if you're being responsible, you would choose to study. Um, I'm not responsible. I am responsible sometimes, but this is this is why I agreed to play Fortnite, right? So the last time I had a math test, I played Fortnite and I have two monitors. So I left my study guide on my second screen and I played Fortnite on the other screen. As I was playing Fortnite, I was studying too. And it worked because I remember when I was taking my test, I remember my two monitors. I remember playing Fortnite. I remember when you're building on a mountain and then my other screen had the worksheet. I guess I kind of have photogenic memory or what is it called photographic memory it's 
it's not strong. I can't remember a full screen, but a lot of things that I remember is a visual. Like I remember visuals. So when I was taking that test, I remembered seeing Fortnite and I remember seeing my other monitor. So I was like, you know what? This is going to work again because if I'm doing something fun, but also studying, it won't feel like studying. And then I actually focus and then I actually learn. So I did that yesterday, but I didn't do it as thorough because there was a lot of us in the call playing Fortnite and we were playing ranked instead of regular and ranked is much harder. You actually have to sweat and focus and pay attention. I don't like doing that, but we played it because the two roaches like to freaking play for rank or something. So we did that and I kind of studied, but not really. And today I woke up and I was driving to school. Instead of studying in the car, I wanted a bagel. So I went to get a bagel and I ate the bagel. I'm an iPad kid. So, you know, I need to be watching something when I eat. It's just normal. I feel like everyone has to do that nowadays, but it doesn't matter. I'm an iPad kid, whatever. So I was watching TikTok and I was eating my bagel and I was kind of losing track of time. And by the time I finished, it was time to go inside to take my exam. So I did not get to look at my notes once again or like refresh, which was a very bad mistake on my part. So when I got into the freaking exam, um, I blanked out. So there were a few sad faces and question marks on the test. I don't know how that's going to turn out. I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but we're going to hope for the best. And the thing is this math that I'm taking right now is the wrong math because at the beginning of the year, you're supposed to choose a math for your major. And I only need one math if you're an urban planning major. Okay. Not all architects, but anyway, I took the wrong math, which means I take another math next semester. So this is just a waste of my time. So it doesn't matter if I do bad or good. Well, it does because it's going to affect my GPA. <laughs> Back to the build hacks. This is not the first Christmas build hacks video I've done. The last build hacks video was also winter and Christmas themed. So if you haven't watched that one, you should watch that one too. I'll link it in the description. All right, let's pretend we didn't see how long that just took me to do. Okay. I need to get chocolate really quick. Dude, where the heck do you get regular box of chocolate from? I don't have the box of chocolate thing. Oh wait, I do. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right. So I'm gonna just stick this on the floor. So then I just keep putting chocolates inside of here. I'm just gonna scatter them for now. Now I need to put in the decal. All right. Now for the moment of truth, let's see if it actually works. The thing I'm worried about is when I click on the box, I feel like it's gonna say change decal, but let's see. Oh, okay. So if I hit E, yeah, so it does work. If I just click with my mouse, it always goes to change picture. But if you hit E, it'll work. Build hack does in fact work. As you can tell, by the way, I was building. It was very <laughs> questionable. I was struggling a bit with the dimensions. This one's really easy to do. It's a fireplace. And then with some added basic shapes to make it look better, just more detailed for your house. I'm gonna put it next to my cute little Christmas tree over here. So first off, we need a fireplace. In the video, she uses the elegant fireplace. So I'm just gonna copy exactly what she does. I'm on my Christmas house plot, so I'm just gonna paint it the same colors. So once we put the fireplace down, then we take a basic shape. And this is gonna be the makeshift chimney. So I'm gonna just make the width flush with the fireplace and then raise it up so it hits the ceiling. After that, she takes a concave straight. Gotta resize this, probably like that. And then I raise it up so it's got the chimney slant sort of thing. Some Something like that. I think I can just rotate this. She takes another basic shape and we're going to make it a rectangle. She puts this on the top part over here. You should probably make it so it goes all the way through. And then this, she made wood. So I'm just gonna copy exactly what she did. And after that, she puts garland on the wood. This entire month has gone by so fast that I, I genuinely can't believe Christmas is soon. And when this video comes out, which will be on the 17th, I believe, Christmas will be in eight days. What the heck? Guys, we are gonna pray I get the 10 piece lip gloss set. And if if I do, maybe I'll have Isaac and Annex guess the shades since you guys liked the last video we did on the Trio channel, which was Isaac guessing makeup products. I had to move this out because this is where the decorations are gonna go. So, you know, just make sure it's out a bit like that so you can place stuff on, is it called a mantle? So just make sure it's big enough where you can put stuff on it. This is so cute. Ava, you popped off with this build hack. It's so easy. It's literally just three basic shapes with some decorations. Um, Ignore this. You just gotta extend it a bit. It's so adorable. It's perfect for Christmas. And because it's a basic shape, you can put stuff up here. So you have full creative control to change up whatever you want. I don't know if you'd consider this a build hack, but this is something I didn't know, but you can do. And it's you can stuff your stockings with either money or food. I've never heard of this before, so we're going to test it out. I have stockings here, so let's see if it works. Oh my God, you can. And it's candy. Oh, okay, wait. So if I put that in there, does it change how it looks? Oh, shoot, dude, that's so cute. Wait, that's adorable. And it adds it filled so you can basically put money or candy so what happens if i okay so if you open it how did i not know that read tag oh and then it tells you who it's from too the more you know this is another hack or build that i used in my last video also this stool bar breakfast thing so i'm gonna show you how to make it it's so easy and the best part about it is it is copy pasteable so first you're gonna take a basic shape you can make it as big or as small as you want i made it one cube unit whatever you want to call this wide and it's relatively thin it doesn't matter how thin or thick you make it this is the height that i 
decided. This is the kind of annoying part is just putting a border around it. So I took a small structural beam. You just go all the way around and then just copy it on top also. I like to do it where I do the longer side first and then I connect it on the opposite end. Just color it the same white as you did before. Then the next thing I do is I make the cushion. So I take a beveled cube, but before you put the cushion actually on, you do have to make the platform that the chair is gonna be on, which is typically something like that. But I make it a little bit wider just so it's bigger than the cushion itself and then just paint it a wood texture. And then you can literally just copy paste it, transform tool. But obviously this is really tall, so we just shrink it. And then I like to align it so it's not sticking out in any way. And then you just stick the cushion on top. Since you have this bottom part already, good you could push it into the ground like that the last part is making the drawer part of the chair and all you got to do is take a structural item put it in the middle i painted this just a, a light wood color and then i use a gold railing for the top of it obviously just do the same thing on the other side that's all it is you can copy paste it turn it all the way around just like that and you can stick a table in the middle the table i use was the industrial pipe table so easy and it adds to your build as you can tell here i put it in this cute cubby area this is kind of more just for an outside decoration we just putting Santa Claus on a reindeer looks pretty easy self-explanatory So we're gonna try it out. I think this is a new item if I'm correct So what he did was he took a basic shape and then a carpet and then we take a stuffed Santa Claus and I'm just gonna resize it down So he's little so we go like that and then I think I just delete this and that's what it looks like It's basically just Santa on a cute little reindeer. You can't move it around. So wherever you put it just you know Make sure it's in the spot you want to keep it. I'm assuming this would work for other spots. So like if I try it on this reindeer. Yeah, so technically it does work on the other ones too. So, you know, you could do it on any reindeer. Now this one is pretty cute because, you know, Santa, when he comes to your house, you know, he pulls up on the roof. So to get his sleigh on the roof, we just put a floor down and then put Santa on it. So I kind of have a good place to put this because this house isn't really on the second floor. So I'm going to just stick it here. Bam. That's pretty easy and simple. Although you can put them on your actual roof now if you want santa to defy gravity as he does in children's books you just put a floor down but if you want him literally on your roof just stick him on your roof now this isn't technically a christmas build hack but i love the design of this counter this is what it's gonna look like at the end it looks so perfect so i think this is a very good build hack we should try first thing we need is the, just the basic counter this is all just tracing so i'm gonna take structural so take the small structural beam and we're just gonna make a box all the way around let's hope my tracing skills have improved since the first build hacks video because oof that was so bad <laughs> Okay, they definitely have not improved. So we got the box down. After that, we're just putting another line directly in the middle. I'm gonna guess the middle's there, and then we're just gonna transform it in so it's flush with the surface. Okay, and now we just make mini boxes on the inside. I'm actually not doing too bad right now. Knowing me, I'm going to jinx that. Um, it's a little uneven. I'm gonna assume my middle dividing thing was not actually in the middle. Does that look like it's centered now? Wow, somehow it actually looks pretty normal. Now we outlined the original box, this big box with more structural this time we're using the smaller structural but first let me just paint everything we're just adding more dimension by retracing it once again oh it looks so nice now okay, now we're taking structure rods to make the little handle which last time i did this i thought you had to use salt shakers and i was so confused so i did it completely wrong but you're literally just rotating these rods this is like full-on sweat builder mode this very tiny minuscule detail is what we're doing damn i didn't know this was so serious but it is if i put this much effort into studying you know maybe i'd actually get a good grade and then to finish it off we add this little line so it looks like the actual counters that we actually use i'm gonna take a vertical plank and resize it and let's just make this counter texture like that and boom look how nice that looks this is so pretty look at that detail i don't think it's that much money it's only 600 to copy paste so not too bad and yeah it is it's fully copy pasteable so you don't have to redo anything anyway those are gonna be all the build hacks for today's video i tried to make them more christmas themed for this one since christmas is in almost a week now thank you so much to all the people that tagged me in tiktoks to do for this video it helps me so much so if you ever come across a tiktok hack that you want me to do in another video just tag me my tiktok is miss french roses anyway i'll see you guys next week for the next video you know you love me xoxo -X -O. french roses girl